I would like to invite you to join the North Texas Performing Arts in our 30th anniversary celebration series. This series features eight productions throughout this year across our family of theaters, showcasing our talent and celebrating significant milestones we've reached this year. But our celebration is more than 30 years as an organization of impact on the community. It's a celebration that 30 years ago, Sarah Akers created the Plano Children's Theater. And it has been upon that foundation that we've gone on to build the North Texas Performing Arts. As a child, I um, participated in Plano Children's Theater shows. It was there that I fell in love with the stage. Even being a part of that small little youth theater program, um, I just fell in love with my directors, with the training I got. Because of my experience at North Texas Performing Arts back then, that just ignited this passion and desire for me to do what I'm doing and brought me back home to where I am today. Something that has been really unique about my journey with North Texas Performing Arts is I got the experience of working with Sarah Akers as my director and to come back and still have our founder of Plano Children's Theater actively involved in our organization has been so impactful and I'm just so grateful for the time that I've gotten to work with Sarah as uh, as a cast member and then now as a co-worker. It's so exciting to be here at NGPA Plano celebrating our 30th anniversary. We're truly building out a tradition of excellence that's provided the foundation for what we see now and the possibility for growth in the future. And together we're forging a path for the next 30 years, all building on the tradition started when Sarah Akers founded the Plano Children's Theater 30 years ago. The Plano Children's Theater actually many years ago uh, kind of ignited my fire and helped me figure out what it is I wanted to do with, with my career. Um, way back in 2008 I was in my first production uh, in, in the Plano Children's Theater. Since then to be able to, to graduate from sort of the Plano Children's Theater's educational setting, leave, uh, earn my degree and come back and now to direct this production and, and, and to do all the things that I have done here feels incredibly humbling. It, it is a wonderful, wonderful experience, and, and I am very, very thankful to be where I'm at. A lot of theater companies that I have both worked for and, and, and have been involved with have not made it uh, for 30 years, and the fact that we're still here, and we're st still producing art, that they should take, take in sort of the magnitude of this moment. You can't help but want to celebrate Sarah, her famous laugh that has been heard for decades in our theaters, and the very special excitement when the children and the cast find out that Miss Sarah is here to watch us. It was 1991 where we founded Plano Children's Theater at Grace Presbyterian Church with the founding board members, uh, Rebecca Eggleston Queso, Lanny Wren, and Dick Anthony. We started with this production of A Wizard of Oz, and in the middle of Tech Week, everyone kept saying, what are we gonna do next? So after the production of The Wizard of Oz at Grace, we began to put together the nonprofit Plano Children's Theater. Unfortunately, uh, that fall, just as we had sent out flyers and had, had done all this advertising, my mother got sick and we had to cancel the, the fall season. Right before she passed, my mom said to me, promise me you're going to start that little theater. And so we did. And with the anticipation that it would be just this kind of little small thing. But I think we are all so thrilled that it has become such an important asset to our community and that it has become a place for children to discover who they are, to help them find their voice. Out of the 30 years, there are a couple of things that just really uh, stand out to me as very special moments. Uh, one of them is our coming over here to the shops of Bullabin. They offered us the space. Uh, Daryl Rodenbaugh, our governing board president, volunteered to be the project executive. And uh, he recruited a, a group of 150 people to design, build, fundraise this facility. It was a gift of love and uh, so precious to me and, and to many people. It has been my honor to have been able to work side by side with Sarah now over a decade and I will always cherish the time we spent together and I've learned a great deal from her and I'm a better person for having known her. My son would volunteer in the summer to be a classroom assistant. More than one occasion I would come in the room and Joshua would just be crawling 
with children, you know, and uh, he, he was kind of a magnet for the rowdy ones, being a rowdy boy himself. Um, <laughs> he would like kind of have this grin on his face, and of course later he would complain about it. Uh, but I knew that he, he loved that, and uh, he loved being a part of this program. Sarah, on behalf of the tens of thousands of children across North Texas impacted by your little theater, the over 100 board members across our family of theaters, your loving staff, a grateful community, and all your fans like me, our heartfelt thanks and congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone.